In this activity of HSM, I'm going to show you how to do a series of holes. We're already into isometric, we'll do our setup. Okay, and we're going to come to the drill. When we go to drill, I'm going to select my tool first. I know that they're a quarter of an inch hole. I know that because I drew it. I'm going to select the quarter inch hole and hit select. I can then come over to my geometry tab and it says to select the faces that make up the holes. Um, I have a, also points, so I'm going to say select faces and I'll pick this one hole. I do want to come down here to select same diameter. As soon as I do that, it'll automatically populate the rest of the holes and add them to this one cycle. I can then say optimize order, order by depth if I have multiple depths, or I can order inside out. I usually just use it as the optimized order. If I come to my heights, you can see that we have two new ones. We have hole top and we have hole bottom. Yes, I can change it to several different things, um, chamfer, blah, blah, blah. Um, for these, we're going to leave them alone. For depth, you'll see that I have a lot of different options. And if you hold your mouse just over the first one, it'll kind of give you an idea of what each one of them are. For right now, we're just going to use drilling with Rapid Out. I will tell you some of your CNC machines may not be able to accept some of these codes that may get written out as we start post-processing later on. So I'll select drilling with Rapid Out and select OK. If we come to our Simulate tab, you should now see in the same order that the, the, the toolpath was in just a minute ago, it's going to do each one at a time in that S shape. We'll go ahead and speed it up. Drill, 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 drill. All right. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and ca uh, tackle these two counter bores that we have. And I actually am going to define them right now just as pockets because I don't want to do a tool change. And I may have a hole that's not a drill bit that I specifically have loaded in my machine. So I wanted to show you these counter bores. We're going to use our 2D pocket. I'm going to come over and select both of the yellow pockets. I'm going to go ahead and select OK. I'm then going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. I'll select the 2D pockets. And I'll come over here and I'm going to select the bottom of the holes. Now, one thing that I don't like is I go in and out of my um, orbit tool and zoom tool. As I just right click and say OK, it thinks I want to try to end that tool. So it says I didn't select anything. So I'm going to have to hit the escape and um, go ahead and start it again. So I'll try my 2D pockets and I'll go ahead and select them. So you may want to try to do some of your rotating before you start doing some of your selecting. I'll go ahead and check my levels, stock top, contours that I pick, that's what I want, um, and then depths. I am going to go ahead and do the multiple depths. I'm using a quarter inch end mill, so I'm going to do a 0.125 for my roughing, and I can see that I have this stock to leave on. Now I may have accidentally forgot on the very last one to do that, and that's a very common thing for me is this stock to leave to keep remembering to turn off. So I'm going to have to go back in and make sure that that other one was turned off. Now because I do that a lot, what I've decided to do is actually change the defaults for my stock to leave. And I've come in here and I've edited the expression and I've changed it to zero inches. And then I've chosen to make default. Now that I've said make default, these are now always going to be a zero even if I accidentally leave stock to leave on. If I ever want them back, I can say reset to default and it'll bring them back. I can now say OK and hopefully I should have my drill, I should have my pockets, and I should have my other pockets. Remember that you have to select all of the setup to be able to see them all at one time. So we'll come in, we'll hit play, and it should do the series of holes and then the pockets. As it is with the rest of Inventor, I can also change the order. If I want it to do some of these things in a different order, it's just a drag and drop where I can grab things and I can change them in the order of the tree however I want. As well, if I go ahead and change back to 3D model, I go back to the cam tab for the models and I choose that this is going to be a different hole. I'm going to say that the counter bore is now going to be 0.875. I'll select OK, and now as I go back to the Cam tab and choose Cam, 
I now have these red X's. These red X's mean that these toolpaths need to be regenerated because something has happened or something has changed. I'll just come up and select Setup and hit Generate and it'll go through them all. I can right click and I can regenerate one of them at a time. Um, once I have them all on red X's, I'm just going to regenerate them all. It'll go through and it will recalculate them and then I can finish our holes.